I'm so sorry for the technical breakdown that we had this morning because of which uh, I had to quit the Zoom sessions. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to give you a very uh, quick uh, summary of what we did in the class today. So we worked on this exercise from our assignment. So we have to find the area that uh, lies between the x-axis and between the points that correspond to t equals uh, from t equals 0 to t equals 1. So when t equals 0, uh, x you can notice would be because x is t squared plus 8t plus 9. That would be 9. And what y will be? y will be e to the negative 0, that is 1. And when t equals 1, x will be t squared plus 8t plus 9. Substituting 1 is not that big a deal. That's 18. And what y will be? e to the, uh, we will raise a power, negative 1. So what we have to do is, this is 18. This is, uh, so this point is 18, 1. Uh, not 18, I apologize. Sorry about that. 9. And here we have 18. And here we got 18 e to the negative 1 as correspond, corresponding points, or rather as points corresponding to those two values. Okay. I don't know whether the graph will be exactly like this, but we'll confirm with decimals in a moment. So, this is the area that we have to find above the x-axis and under this graph. So we will just go by a typical approach. Let's take y delta x. So what do we have to do? We have to evaluate 9 to 18 y dx. Now let's change in terms of t. So y would be how much? e to the negative t. And since x is t squared plus 8t, plus 9, okay, dx would be what? Just take the derivative, 2t plus 8, okay, and dt, all right. So here we are, 2t plus 8, dt, and uh, then when x is 9, t is 0. I mean, that's how we calculated it. When x is 18, uh, t is 1 here, and we are looking between t from 0 to 1. Now, if you're doing it by hand or just by just analytically, then for this part, you will have to use integration by parts. But in this case, we are allowed to use a calculator because says round your answer to four decimal places instead of asking for an exact answer. So here we have the calculator. So let's just go to math and then number nine gives us definite integrals. So we are going from 0 to 1 and uh, then we have e to the negative t here. We are just going to use that uh, as a function of x, okay? And uh, then we'll write what 2t plus 8 or rather 2x plus 8 just for the computation purpose here. Okay? And then we will write an x here and that should give us the value. And so the answer approximately is 5.5854. Okay. Now there was this question in the textbook that I took on Monday, took up on Monday, but didn't have a chance to uh, go over it. And this is what the book calls uh, teardrop function. Why don't I take it on a different screen where I can write a little bigger? So here is the function written for you and we have two parameters here, A and B, and we change the values of A and B, uh, the shape might change. So let's go ahead and graph it in Desmos, even though you can graph it in uh, your TA84, but Desmos will let us change these parameters, okay? So I'm going to type the coordinates in Desmos. And by the way, I, we did not do this in class this morning. But right now, since I have the luxury of saying whatever I want to, so right here, and you can see, uh, once we did that, it gives us a choice for changing the parameters, and we'll take that choice. And what is uh, this thing? It just, sorry about that, here. It uh, became, that was a minus sign, which I erased accidentally. Okay. 
and uh, you can see me struggle so that way you <laughs> so you have so we are adding a slider here okay so that we can see well val different values for different uh, values for sorry different shapes for different add slider please okay yeah here b is this and a is this and what it's doing is that is showing us the values for a equals one and b equals one all right between a uh, range of t from zero to one now our range from zero was from zero to two pi so let's do that we will write two pi here and here it is and uh, so you know that's a let me zoom in a little and it doesn't look like a tear and i remember we saw that in class and uh, it didn't look like a tear to us okay but uh, i'm going to change it into a tear because that's what i had to do in the morning just get into dry tears actually when the technology froze on me so we are going to change that kiss to tears so you can see this here that uh, say i enlarge it and say i shrink this yeah this turns out to be a big tear okay from a big guy like me all right so this turns into a tier function but anyways let's just go back to our function because uh, that's what we wanted to calculate the uh, the the area of uh, you know enclosed by okay so we are going to go ahead and calculate this area as the book asked us to and so what we would do is this now notice this the way it traces the area so for example uh, this is from uh, t from 0 to 2. Uh, actually, if I take it like say, I'm just showing you how you can get a good idea, you know, using the polar coordinates, sorry, using Desmos feature, okay? So from 0 to pi over 2, it will go like this, okay? So since we are finding the area, what we have to do is let's just go and find better limits. So from neg, oh no, from I'm going from negative pi over two to, or rather, let me just go from pi over two to say three pi over two, no, five pi over two rather, because. Uh, that will cover very good so that is still covers the full portion and uh, so when we do that let me take it to a different place where i can write on it so here we are going to calculate the area and uh, what we shall is what we are going to do is the, that we have uh, and, and okay. so here we have uh, is pen not working not okay I had a good day starting this morning okay here it's working now so we will start uh, here which corresponds to t equals how much three pi over two because you can see and this is one and a is one as well as we saw okay and a b will not matter they can be factored out but let's just keep life simple and then here y is uh, 1 and that corresponds to t equals 5 pi over 2 if we do not want the curve retracing itself we may do it like this but let's not get that sensitive especially in this situation so here an approach that we are taking is uh, uh, like this because you can see the whole area will be twice this area so we'll just take this area on the right and multiply it by 2 so here we have delta y and this is x so how we can go here is we can go x dy and y going from negative 1 to 1 that we can change from 3 pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2 all right y uh, x dy so x is what two 
cosine t minus sine 2t and then dy is we can write dy as dy dt sorry then dt and dy dt is how much y is sine t so dy dt will become cosine t and then dt now uh, let me just separate this here it looks like a square here now sine 2t you can change it to 2 sine t cosine t. I apologize for this phone call. Okay. So it can be changed to 2 sine t cosine t. And then you can you, you may have to use the double angle formula in case you are doing this, doing it without a calculator. But here, in this kind of a case, I don't ask you to use a calculator. Okay. Uh, so I don't ask you not to use a calculator. So let's use our calculator and get the value here. So first I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that on scientific workplace. And calculator will give us give you the same value. Instead of exact values, it will give you approximate values. And here uh, we are doing it for A equals B equals 1 when it's no longer a teardrop it's like sweeter okay so this is pi and remember this is the area only of the right half so the whole area would be uh, 2 pi all right and if you had retained your a and b here they can easily be factored out so you can just multiply by a and b and the area will be 2 pi a b okay now then we started uh, polar coordinates. So here we went over the polar equations right here. So first we did this. We just uh, did a quick preview of our pre-calculus study of polar coordinates and then we went for the areas in arc length that will involve the involve the polar coordinates and we went over reason why we would have uh, one half integral from alpha to beta the area enclosed by a polar graph between theta equals a and theta equals b okay let me write that up for you one moment so what is meant here is this that say we have a graph of a polar equation which can be described by r equals f theta and here is the say polar axis this is the pole and we want uh, area enclosed by this graph for values of theta sorry for values of theta from alpha to beta then this area would be how much one half integral alpha to beta r square d theta and then we took a question from the book and just worked on it okay so we worked on this question number 202 where area we had to find the area above the polar axis that's enclosed by a graph of uh, by the graph of r equals 2 plus sine theta so let's just take it into desmos and work on there so here we are in Desmos. So let me get rid of these. And here we want what? R equals 2 plus sine theta. Okay. And, and this is a graph of 2 plus sine theta. And you can just, and we have to do what? We have to find the area above the polar axis. And you know, the x axis, your typical x axis is called the polar axis. And you can see the this here that the graph is starts at two, all right. And since we have to go only this far, okay, it will become negative two. Uh, and in fact, it will be r equals two when theta is say pi, okay, at that time. So, and this is the region that we have to work with. So, what we have here is, so we have r equals. 2 plus sine theta, all right, and theta goes from where to where? Theta goes from 0 to pi, okay, to give us the area between, this is the polar axis, okay, 
all right and here our angle in starting angle alpha is zero and our terminal angle uh, beta is how much pi and when that is uh, equal to pi all right this distance will be what that will be two again okay so anyways so what that will be remember our area is one half alpha two beta r square d theta so here it will be one half zero to how much pi what is r square two plus sine theta square d theta and of course if you want to evaluate it you will have to foil it and sine square theta there you will use the double angle formula but uh, we can just use our calculator because we have gotten good at you know doing those by hand and obtain that so what we got now is that we just want to evaluate this integral and if you do that the area is uh, 9 pi over 4 plus 4 okay and you may round it if they ask you to all right 